Modern engines can cost thousands of dollars to replace, so by regularly changing your oil and filter, you could save hundreds of dollars a year, as well as protecting your engine from premature wear. To change your oil and filter, you'll only need some simple tools. Jack, axle stands, spanner to suit your sump plug, drain tray, filter wrench, new sump plug washer, Ryko oil filter to suit your vehicle application, funnel, quality engine oil, and a rag. Before you start, make sure you've selected or been given the correct Ryko oil filter to suit your vehicle. And make sure you have the correct grade and quantity of oil. Your parts store will be able to make sure you have these. First, park your car on a hard level surface, apply the handbrake, and chock your rear wheels. Jack the front of the car up. Make sure you do not jack the car up using any part of the engine or transmission as this could cause damage. Place the axle stands under the chassis rails and never go under a car that does not have axle stands. Some cars might have a shield or tray underneath to protect the engine. This car doesn't have one but if it has one you'll need to remove it. Place your drain tray under the sump plug to catch the oil. Turning anti-clockwise, remove the sump plug and allow the oil to drain. Be careful when working under the car of sharp and hot objects such as the exhaust. The engine oil you've drained may also be hot as well. Clean the area with a rag and replace the sump plug with a new washer to ensure a good seal. Then, using a spanner, replace the sump plug until firm, but care should be taken not to over tighten the sump plug. Locate the oil filter and remove it in an anti-clockwise direction. Again, be careful of any hot oil spilling. Ensure the oil filter seal is also removed. It can sometimes stick to the mounting surface. Clean the filter mounting surface with a rag and apply a film of oil to the seal of the Ryko oil filter. This will ensure the seal comes off easily next time you remove the filter. Each Ryko filter should be installed to its recommended tightness shown on the side of the filter. Install the filter by hand in a clockwise direction until firm. Then using the filter tool, tighten to the correct tightness, usually between a quarter to half a turn more. Make sure you wipe any of the oil that's spilled out of the oil filter from the engine or the undercarriage and refit any of the shields or trays. Remove your axle stands and place the front of the car on the ground. Remove your oil filler cap and using the funnel, slowly pour the correct amount of oil into your engine. But be careful not to pour too fast as this could cause the oil to spill. Refit your oil filler cap. Start your engine and run it till the oil light goes out. This will normally only take a few seconds. Then shut your engine down and wait for about 30 seconds or so. Then check the level on the dipstick. It should be level with the maximum mark. Dispose of your used engine oil and filter thoughtfully. Check with your local council if you're unsure.